So two umpires out there, Bingham Fitzhenry and Dan O'Leary. It's not the most popular job, I have to say. The only thing that makes it possibly tolerable is that the two of you to share the blame at the end of the game. Because you can be certain that four of the players are going to be upset with you. If not eight. <laughs> that can happen too. So Charlie Field back on the field. Those blonde locks of his. Used to be blonde back in the day. They're like mine now. <laughs> Happy man that Charlie Field. In we go. GMG Lara Pinta. Lara Pinta having just been squeezed out of the last one by the merest margin. And uh, onto the ball now is Hunt. Thomas Hunt. Kite rides forward for the pass. Hunt releases up for kite and it's going to be the backhand shot from Hoey no in actual fact taken away by Charlie Field near side backhand shot was kite the round they come again in there is Balfour Irvine but just taking the ball and electing to turn it around is Robbie Ballard over the top was Ballard <laughs> over the top was kite now here we go let's go running let's go running at the oh dear Charlie Field just can't control it and it pops out of play. So play will restart with a hit on the spot. And here we go. Look at him go. Look at him go. Here we go. It is uh, going to be Nick Kite takes it on now for Lara Pinta. The score at the moment, 1-0 at the moment with GMG. And Hunt gets a bit of it. Now they take it away by Charlie Field. And over to the far side we go. So Charlie turns the ball. Let's see where the play is going. Very different game, this one, to the one we saw previously. Just a... Still going to see, though, these interesting competitions between individual players who aren't on the ball wanting to just uh, assert their control over that particular play. There's a little hook comes in, and the ball through the goal for, I think, Lara Pinta, one all. Yeah, we've still got the two high goalers from the other from the last game, Tom Hunt and Nick Kite. So they've played a lot of polo together, the two cousins. They've, they should have a fair bit of teamwork worked out between them at this stage. But likewise, Rob Ballard and Charlie Field, they've played a lot of polo with and against each other. So there should be a fair bit of teamwork there. And this will be what they can get out of their lower-ranked players in each team. So that's the um, GMG side. will be looking to get a lot of work out of James Hoey and Phil Dowling. Out here, you're watching Tom Hunt. Looks back how much time have you got. James Hoey's got the one who's been given the opportunity to come and mark the high goal from the opposition. Look at Nick Kite clear the way for his teammate and cousin Tom Hunt. Tom Hunt now hits away. Robbie Ballard's got himself free and he picks up the line and the right of way best. Ballard looks back to try and set up Charlie Field. They need James Hoey though to get Tom Hunt out of the way. Tom Hunt's too good for that. Back play by Tommy Hunt. Off oh, for Balfour Irvine. He's picked up the loose ball. He's going to leave it here for Nick Kite. Nick Kite though, he's going to have to get past Charlie Field and that's no mean feat. Nick's checked up so Charlie knows where it is he uses the horse to smother the play Nick Kite across the field to play looks up oh he can't control the bouncing ball Robbie Ballard knew what his good mate was going to do he probably called out something as he swung for the ball Ballard changes the line to keep the right of way picks it up on the near side look at James Hoey ride for the pass and out comes the pass hasn't got enough oh but Nick Kite will go down Kite goes down hits the ball around the corner Tom Punt picking up the line Charlie Field will go back back it out here looking for Phil Dowling to pick up the line. Phil Dowling and Rob Rob Ballard is it. Phil Dowling here brings it a little bit more across the field than down the field. Robbie Ballard says leave it Phil I got it. Look at that horse stop for Robbie. Robbie now turns it inside. Look at Tom Hunt controlling the horse and the ball, watching the man at the same time. Ballard looks down here trying to get it to James Howie. Howie trying to get free but no oh, Nick Kite's there to intercept the play. Kite now brings it round. Howie just waits for him. His job's just to wait for the last man that's coming. He's the number one. That's what he's doing. 
doing. Look how easily his horse is going, just nicely. Near Kite has to head away. Tom Hunt knows, doesn't know where it was. His cousin told him where it was. Ballard backs it into traffic again. That's allowed Tom Hunt to pick up the loose ball. Hunt now shoots down towards goal. Who's going to be the first one to it? Looks to me like as if it's going to be Ballard. Ballard goes under the pony's neck, just a half play, so he gets the next play. Can't get the horse to stop the way he wants, though. So now he's under a bit of pressure. Waiting for the plays. Brings it out the open side. Charlie Field drops in behind him. They'll have a bit of a chat. He says, leave it and go, Robbie. No, he was going to run for the pass. Why are Robbie's got it out here? Look, get, bring, opens up the shoulders and drives it down here as long as he can because he can see James Howie's only got one of the lesser players with him. Howie now tries to, oh, the bouncing ball scroll. Bow for Irvine, oh, he's called out of it by Tom Hunt. Hunt now brings around the corner. Hunt now looks up, waits for Bobby Ballard to get out of the way. Ballard just concedes the play. Up to Nick Kite. The teamwork from those two is working the best. Kite drives it down there, but look at... Um, Balfour there taking the defensive player out. Back round by Charlie Field over to Rob Ballard. Ballard and Tom Hunt. Rob Ballard there is going to try and set Charlie Field going the other way. Does, but look at Nick Kite read the play well. Charlie Field drives it down the ground. He wanted Nick, wanted James to go forward, but he didn't. Look at Charlie Field and the horse races on. Look at this bay pony from Charlie Field. Stretch out, and what a play this will be from Charlie Field if he can finish it off. Charlie Field running it in for GMG. Oh, look at the horsepower from Charlie Field. Oh, big play started with Rob Ballard down here. Charlie Field got control of it, drove it down the ground and just said, my horse is quicker than yours and ran it in the goal. Well, you can see how important the speed of these horses is. Charlie Field there came alongside, was it Kite or Hunt? It didn't matter. And uh, they started at the same place and uh, Charlie just went around the side and just uh, put the accelerator down and off he went. And the result is a goal on the board. Two goals to one now, GMG. <coughs> in we go again. Once again into the, the melee. Out it comes. Hunt with the uh, kite with the ball. Kite on the near side. Can't make the next play. Backhand shot from Ballard turning it around. Around they come. First one to it. Here we go. Kite. So Kite turns it away he goes now. Bouncing ball, doesn't quite defeat him, but just enough to uh, put him offside for a moment and has to stop, turn, come back and pick up the next one. He sends it away, away out in front of his number one there, Balfour. Balfour is there, gets a little bit of it. He's got a very, uh, a great deal of work to do. Has a little swing at it for the under the next shot. Now it's going to be the backhand shot, uh, but picked up by Charlie Field. Charlie opens up and lets that one go. It's all about position, these guys, these, these uh, higher rated players. You just watch the way they're just looking at the game the whole time and going, where's it going to be? It's not about where it is right now. It's where it's going to be maybe in one or two plays. And they'll often go there, the anticipation on these boys. Um, obviously, you'd, you'd expect them to be able to anticipate the game a little more than the lower rated players. So you'll see them a bit loose and you think, why are they there? And all of a sudden, the ball arrives with them. So great stuff. Two goals, Jim G, one goal, Larry Pinter. This is the final of the Silver Cup, isn't it? good stuff. Back into action. Second chucker, Larry Pinter versus GMG. And away it goes for Lara Pinter, but Charlie Field once again good position at the back on that great pony again makes a great strike but it unfortunately bounces off a pony unkindly and puts it right down in front of the stick of uh, Nick Kite who converts and the scores uh, change to two all now, two all in the second chuck, all the twos on the board on the far side and they come back and change ends again so I was going to just talk about the uh, the whole COVID thing, and I guess what we really have learnt from COVID is never to eat a raw bat, I guess. And 
running the other way. It's pretty popular, this goal down this end of the field. It's Hoey this time he takes the ball on, and we've discussed the riding style of this man. It's a, it's a, oh, it's genetic, actually. I was going to say that. Uh, father was rode similarly, very similarly. There's a, a much of a stamp there, and that's a great shame for him. Um, the ball taken to the boards on the far side now. Two, two, and two on the boards. On the scoreboard, second chucker, two goals each. Lara Pinter in the green and white. GMG in the blue and white. And uh, players just running around to support each other. Those two guys, Kite and Hunt. So Kite made the shot. Hunt made the shot. Taking Hunt up the field. It's turned around again. Over the top. And Robbie Ballard hooked out of the play. There's a little backhand shot from Kite to Hunt. Hunt picks the ball up now. Oh, he couldn't get a hold of that. That will upset him. And the backhand shot from... Charlie Field once again turns it around. Ballard is there. Ballard releases, sends it away out in front of Hoey again. Now let's see if he can make a cleaner fist of this one. It's still with Hoey at the moment. Good centering shot. He's still going to work on his pony to come across. Got the near side play. Straightens up a little. Can't make the conversion though. It's left down to be turned around by Kite. Kite with the ball and into the fray there. Oh, it's taken away though again. Kite was looking for the, uh, for the whistle. Hunt was looking for the whistle. Kite was there anyway to tidy up. And uh, away they come at the gallop again. And off they go at the gallop. And this is Kite now with the ball. Gets the pony running. Neck stretched out. Flat. And they are just running and coming into the fray there. Is, uh, Phil Dowling makes a little bit of the ride off and just enough to put the, uh, the attentions of Thomas Hunt elsewhere. And turns it. And away we come with Hunt. Little chestnut horse there. Just running there with its head stretched out. Just flat out. Lovely to see them that way. The ball out to the sideline again. Now it's Kite into the front <laughs> is that uh, Charlie Field is coming in was it oh it was Howie I beg your pardon it was Howie bounce off a pony and over the back line I think one of the things we're watching James Howie there while you're commentating Jim just watching how still he sits in the saddle I think that's one of the key features of all those Hoey riders. The legs just don't appear to move. Long legs wrap them round behind the horse. So you're watching off the back line here, Rob Ballard. Charlie Fields come left. He's got James down the right. Where's he going? He's going out towards James Hoey. Hasn't got enough length to reach James Hoey. Nick Kite will get in the way. Backs it around the corner looking for his teammate and Tom Hunt. But Rob Ballard's ready the best. He's going to back it around there. It's back for back. Who can hit it back the furthest? Charlie Fields going to put the pressure on Nick Kite. Bangs it around the corner the first one to it should be Phil Dowling. Dowling will go down and try and play a back play. Does. Nice play because it's gone straight to Charlie Field. Charlie Field now trying to get enough out in the open so he can get it down to a teammate. Look at James Howie run down the ground. But Nick Kite's put himself between the ball and where he thinks the ball will go. So Charlie Field gets past. I think it was Urquhart. Urquhart or Balfour Irvine on the far side. Must have been Balfour Irvine because Urquhart's up here. Balfour's going to have to call, make the play. He's called out of it by Tom Hunt. Tom Hunt now. Look at Nick Kite run for the pass. Nick Kite going back Back the other way. Charlie Field, Nick Kite waiting for the ball. Coast pass, Phil Dowling, Phil Dowling on the line. Umpire's whistle. It's a blow on the whistle there. Nick Kite has seen this as a prime opportunity to go and change his horse because there's no time out for this. So penalty five, spot hit to the GMG team. No, the umpires have agreed to disagree. They're going to roll it in. No, it is a hit. Spot's just up here. Rob Ballard, what's he going to do? Nick Kite joins the field of play. He's just having a quick chat, Rob Ballard and Charlie Field, about what they're going to do. Robbie Ballard just composes himself and his horse. Is he going to control the ball or is he going to put a long one down the field? James Hoey there, just trying to box up Nick Kite so Charlie Field can get free. Bit of a scramble down there. What's Robbie Ballard going to do? He's going to go for the long drive and hoping James Hoey can steer it through for him. It's a little bit out here towards the left, so Tom Hunt will be the next one to it. Tom Hunt, look at Nick Kite just keeping the players, the, the better players from the opposition away from Tom Hunt. That means James Hoey has to go there. Look at that horse stop for James Hoey. Tom Hunt now on the boards, looks up. Nick Kite says, I'll come back and help you. 
come back and help you. You ride over the top of the ball and leave it with me. Look at James Howey. Just, oh, Nick Kite, he's just left it behind. But he's got time to go back and get it. Look at James Howey. Great play from him because he's kept Nick Kite busy. Oh, but just as he let him go, Rob Ballard came through and Tom Hunt's outsmarted the two of them. Tommy Hunt now over halfway. Asked the little chestnut pony to stretch out again. He's come off the cane, not the way he'd like. Rob Ballard just takes it off the boards backwards. But at least he's got control of it. Charlie Field says, well, this is where we need it. Matey, over there to James Howey. Howey's had to leave it for Charlie Field. Charlie gets it up to Howey this time. Howey now coming with, who's that, Urquhart or Balfour? Irvine, I wasn't sure. One of the two. Charlie Field still got the ball going forward. Charlie Field, can he pick up the bouncing ball? Yes, he can. Drives it down goalwards. It's a little bit left. He's got to cut it in from here. It'll be a big shot. He can. Oh, it's come off the heel of the mallet and it's ended up in the creek. But it's out over the back line from behind. Still in the second, Chaka to all the score. Nice tight game, up and down polo. Great horses, great day. Don't forget the Pims at the combi. Great Pims. Phil Dowling on the black horse, just a little bit of it coming through. Who's going to be there on the near side turning it around is Howie. With Howie is Kite. Kite, uh, they're not they're not sitting so clean, Kite and uh, and Hunt. Now here we go with Hunt. Let's see what he can do with this one. Gets a hold of it again on this little little pony. Likes to run this little pony. Going back in defence is Charlie Field on the grey horse. And uh, Hunt just checks the pony down and protects that right of way that we talk about so often. Still with them at the moment, having to go the long way around now and under enormous pressure from Charlie Field. No one wants to lose this game, ladies and gentlemen. This is the final of the Silver Cup. And there it is. Through it goes. It was uh, Thomas Hunt who put the ball... It was Thomas Hunt who put the ball through. So 3-2 the score now in favour of Lara Pinta. 3-2 the score in the second chuck. You can see the time is dribbling away over there. It's, it's when it gets to that seven-minute mark, we go into the red zone. Uh, so at seven minutes, we get the first hooter, and then we have up to 30 seconds left to play, assuming nothing happens to uh, for the whistle to blow or the ball not going out of play. Oh, there it is, hooter. The ball hasn't been rolled in. And so the chucker ends, ladies and gentlemen. We are halfway through this game. Two goals to three. Lara Pinter with a three. And just to let you know that at the end of the game, there are some, some crowd involvement activities. And uh, that involves, I think, part of the crowd involvement activity. I think, I think there might be a running race, but also there is the uh, fashion on the field. And there are a lot of people dressed very fashionably here. So they're going to be invited out to come and, and uh, show off in front of all the crowd. And we'll make fun of you. And then somebody will win a big prize. So we are back to begin the third chucker. So we've reached the halfway mark. 3-2 in favour of Lara Pinder over the GMG team in the Queensland Silver Cup for 2020. for Lara Pinder, but the first person to it's going to be Charlie Field. Field just taps around, changes the line, keeping control. Looks up to see where his teammates are running to. He wants one of them to run and James Howey runs and there goes the pass over the top of his head. Out in front of goal, James Howey shoots for goal, can't pick up the bouncing ball. Ball! Down we go. And who was that? Not sure. Steve Urquhart, I think. He's up, he's okay. They've all, Steve just changed horses, he's adjusted himself. And off the here we're looking for Tommy Hunt now. Couple of half plays, he's just waiting for someone to come and put some pressure on him. That'll be Charlie Field, now he hits away, looking to pick up his cousin in Nick Kite. But Charlie Field's read the play the best. Charlie's just gonna make a turning play. Turns it inside, Nick Kite. Nick Kite's got to ride away, but he does so as slowly as possible without giving away a penalty as Charlie Field tries to drive away. Smothered up here by Nick and Tom Kite. Tom Kite, it's Nick, Tom Hunt, sorry. Nick Kite, Tom Hunt now goes out the other way. Wants to get it up here to one of his numbers. 
number one in bow for Irvine. Irvine with a bit of a play. James Hoey takes him over the play. Tommy Hunt picks it up here and drives it down the ground. Tom Hunt coming through the back of the field now. He cuts inside and Charlie Field had gone round the long way. Tom Hunt's got to stand up in the stirrups and cut it. And he's cut it right through the middle of the goal. Four goals to two. Great run there from Tom Hunt. 4-2 the score. Early stages of the third chucker in the Silver Cup final for Queensland Gold Cup weekend 2020. Players will change ends once again. Umpire Bingham Fitzhenry. He'll bowl the ball in. In it is. No, time out. Tom Hunt's just got to adjust a bit of gear. Now he's got it. He thanks the opposition. Ball comes in. Who's got it? Looks to be far. Oh, Phil Dowling out the line out here. Phil Dowling gets two plays out. It can't get the third. Next one to it's going to be Nick Kite. And Tom says just across here. Thanks, cuz. Here it comes now. Tom Hunt now looks up. Nick Kite's dropped in behind him. Look at Balfour Irvine run for the pass. Tom Hunt gets it past Rob Ballard. Now Charlie Field. This will be a different cattle of fist though. Getting past Charlie Field, a great defensive player. Here we go, Charlie. Now what's he going to do? Just hangs on to it long enough till he gets a teammate to pass to. He hasn't got someone to pass it to. And sooner or later when you've got Tom Hunt on your hammer, you give it up. And here's Tom Hunt now. Look at Nick Kite. Box Charlie Field up. That means Rob Ballard's got to do the defensive work. James Howey will get a crack at it. Will he? No. Steve Urquhart comes in. Steve Urquhart now. Phil Dowling. He's over the top of it. Left there for where's this? Tommy Hunt. Tommy Hunt will run another one in the goal. 5-2 the score. Back in it goes. Five to two is the score. And at the moment, the Lara Pinter team showing GMG a reasonably clean pair of heels. Board on the far side, turned around by Kite. And first one to it under the net. That's a massive shot there from, uh, who was that? That was Charlie Field. But on the end of it, it's Thomas Hunt. So Thomas Hunt now comes away with it. Behind him is Robbie Ballard. Out in front there is uh, Charlie Field. The hook goes in and it's going to be picked up and turned around by Howie. James Howie steers around nicely. Going back with him is Kite. And it's still with Howie at the moment. He can't make anything of the next shot. It's going to be picked up by Kite and taken out to the side. Pressure comes in there from Charlie Field. Around the side is Thomas Hunt. Hunt now picks up the wall up. And, uh, oops, and stops in the melee. Out it comes. Mm. Now again with Kite. Kite on the near side. Look at how hard they're working on those ponies to win that battle of the ride off. Alongside him is James Hoey. Still though with Thomas Hunt. Makes the next play and out to the boards. Charlie Field. Makes the ride off. Collects the ball. Now elects to turn the ball. And there's Hunt behind. But Charlie Field comes away with it this time. And now eases away. Gets himself a length and uh, releases the ball. Away it goes. Now he's going to be the first one to it. Is that uh, James Howey with the ball to, takes it forward another 20 metres picked up now by Kite Hunt now Kite there's the pass from Hunt to Kite the ball's not going to quite make it to him once again Charlie Field comes into the action now Charlie Field there playing for GMG five goals to two is the score we're in the third of four chuckers the penultimate one and at the moment these three goals difference really are a bit of a mountain and so still with charlie field at the moment lara pinter of course have the advantage there's a shot that's what we like to see robbie ballard i think he put that one forward look at it dribbling dribbling towards the goal first one to it though it's going to be uh thomas hunt and he turns around look out for kite where's kite going and there's Balfour Irvine, I think, out to the right-hand side. We also have Steve Urquhart as well. Don't forget, they're out here. The ball left now, and it's with Kite, Hunt, Hunt. See, there's a real problem, I can tell you, with these Kite-Hunt combination. 
and you want, really want to be very, very careful about getting a little spoonerism going on that one. I did actually make that mistake once in England with when uh, Paul Hunt was playing. It was actually, it was the worst possible mispronunciation of Paul Hunt's name I could have made. But I did it with a plum. We're still here though. There's the hook and there's the steal. And this is Thomas Hunt away. He comes going back in defence. It's Phil Dowling. Horse race is going to be on in a moment. And it is Hunt at the moment with the ball. Dowling continues to work very, very hard. Great, uh, great work there from Dowling. But Hunt is up to the job. And Hunt extends the lead. Six goals now to two. How about that? Back to the middle they come. 6-2. It's the Silver Cup. And we are in the third chucker with about a minute left to play. One chucker left after this and we'll have a decision on who is going to come away with the Queensland Silver Cup for 2020. Left from top, no one reach on six goals. That was a very, very difficult shot there and Phil Dowling was doing all he could to stop him, but it just wasn't enough. Tom Hunt, back centre field we go. Who's got control of it now? Rob Ballard, he looks up to see where his teammates are. How he's out the back there. He's got Steve there, put the the uh, Lara Pinder side have put uh, Steve Urquhart on the job of keeping James Howie occupied. Robbie Ballard, though, he's just bringing it forward, just chips it up here looking for Charlie Field. Nick Kite's going to try and put the pressure on him. Charlie Field, Nick Kite's got to play on it. Tom Hunt's going to get around pretty quickly. Rob Ballard gets a play on the ball. However, only as far as his teammate Charlie Field, though. Charlie's got control of it, but time's running down in the third. They're down by four goals. They're going to need some more. Oh, Tommy Hunt backs it out of harm's way. Gets it down here. Time will be just about up. Rob Ballard, what's he going to do? Backs it down the field. Looking for Charlie Field. Field going to try and drive it down here for James Howey. James Howey, yeah, has got to take out of Steve Urquhart. James Howey and Steve Urquhart, they just cancel each other out. Bow for Irvine will be the next one to it. His defensive play goes into a horse, and that'll be the hooter. That'll end the third chucker with Lara Pinter in control. Four goals up, leading 6-2.
drink themselves into a stupor at every possible opportunity. There's the shot. Is it Balfour? Come on, get through, get through, yes! Balfour Irvine. I tell you what, it only went through by an inch, but that's all you need. It got across the line. It was a goal. Seven goals to three now. Two minutes remaining in this match. Charlie Field coming back on. Back to the middle they come. Maybe a little bit of uh, complacency out there. They might be looking at the clock, the players, and going, well, it's 7-3, and there's two minutes left, and uh, a little bit unlikely that the result is going to be any different to what is on the board now as, as far as the uh, the end result. Through the melee it comes, but they're all great players, and they're all going to want to keep on at least enjoying the day. There's the next shot from uh, from Kite Hunt, I beg your pardon. Now Hunt, the six-goal player, hooked out of it, though, by Charlie Field. Kite comes into the fray, sends it away, goalward bound. It's going to make it nearly... Oh, that's a great play from Thomas Hunt. How about that? Leaves it behind. Kite finishes it off and sends the ball way up into the Elysian hedge, and they come back to the middle at eight goals to three. Back centre field there, I think the Larapinda side of just the combination between Nick Kite and Tom Hunt has just been too much for the GMG team. They had their game all warmed up because they played in the preliminary final for the Gold Cup earlier, so they were running hot and came out, and they've just been too hot all game for the GMG team. About a minute remaining. Don't worry about the um, scoreboard clock. It's not the official one that we're using. You're watching Tommy Hunt, though. He's going to drive it down here and says, here, Nick, you have a score, another goal. You scored that last one well. He picks up the bouncing ball. Not the angle he likes. He's going to have to now turn this one back for an approach shot. Charlie Field's going to make the back play. Does play. Turns the field round, except for Phil Dowling. He's going to turn there. Steve Urquhart comes through on the new line. Steve Urquhart now with a chance to put another goal in for Lara Pinder, too. Steve Urquhart, though, he'll leave it there for Charlie field. Charlie's just got a little turning play in front of Nick Kite. Field now looks up. Who's roiling to run from me? Oh, he drives it up there, but it's come off Nick Kite. Charlie Field now goes again, this time up the centre of the field looking for Phil Dowling to take it on. He's going to leave it there, Phil. Tom Hunt, though, just picks it up on the near side. And there's a little put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. Our Silver Cup winners for 2020. The Lara Pinta 2 side of Balfour Irvine, Steve Irvine,